Hello everyone, my name is Sab Roy and today we will learn about how to create custom module in Bagisto. To do so, we will follow the steps given on the following blog. We will follow each and every step from the step number 1. So we will start from our step number 1. Here it is written that inside packages folder of Bagisto, create a folder of your own company namespace and inside it create a folder with your package name. For example, I am creating a folder named as ACME inside the package folder. So here is the package folder. Under the package folder, I am creating a new folder named as ACME. And under the ACME, I am creating my package named as Hello World. Now moving towards the step number 2. Step number 2, it, here it is written that inside your package create a file named as package.json. We will use it later. So under the package, I am creating a new file named as package.json. So under the package, it is created package.json. Okay. Now move towards the step number three. Here it is written that create an src folder under hello world. So it is a hello world and we have to create a new folder named as src. Now inside src folder, we have to create other folder named as providers. So I'm creating a new folder under the src folder. Now under the provider, we have to create a file named as package name service provider or PHP. For example, I am creating my service provider named as hello world service provider or PHP. Okay, now the service provider consists of two methods. The first method is boot and other is register. So in the service provider.php file, we can put this code. Copy the code and paste it under the hello world service provider.php. Now moving towards the step number 4. Here it is written that now you need to register this service provider. To do so we have to open our app.php file which is present under the config folder. So now we are so copy this line. and open the config folder under the config folder there is app.php file under the app.php we have to put our code so here i put the code under the provider array now move to our state number 5 we have to now the thing is we need to add our package to composer or json so to do so we have to add this code under the ps4 line inside composer or json file here is our composer or json and i have to put the code here Now we will do our shape number 6. Now we are going to add some routing and views to our packages for route. 
we have to create an HTTP folder inside SRC folder. So now I am going to create a HTTP folder inside the SRC folder. Our SRC folder is present under the packages ACME hello world SRC. Under the SRC folder, I have to create a HTTP folder. Now, inside the HTTP folder, we have to create a file name as routes.php. So here I put the route.php. Okay, uh, there is a small mistake by me. I have put the HTTP folder under the providers and I have to move it outside. Now it looks great. Okay. Now, other thing is in this file, we can create routes for our projects. Route file name can be according to the need, like for example admin route.php, stop route.php. You can make your own name according to your need. So now the other thing is we need to register the route file to the service provider boot method. So copy the line and go to the service provider and put this code under the boot function now we will go to the step number 7 now we need to create route and render view on that route we are going to do the same inside the route.php create a simple route hello world or play.php So copy the code and go to your routes.php here router.php and put the code here. Now here it is written that you can enter hello world you are to browser and can see the output. Let's see what will happen. If I go here and and write Hello world. Okay, so here it is given class encryptor does not exist. If you face this issue, then open your command line and write here composer dump auto load. It may take some time, so we will pause our video for a few minutes. Okay, now our composer dump auto load command runs. Now see what will happen. So here it is given the error no hint part defined for hello world. Do not panic because we are not creating our view file and it is finding the view file as if we go to our route.pg file and here it is written that hello world dot dot clone hello world dot hello world it means it is finding the view file under the hello world folder but here is no view file inside our package that's why it is giving 
that error no hint pass for hello world okay now move toward our next step now we are going to create a language file for our package for this create a lang folder inside resources folder so we have to create a resources folder as per given in the blog under the resources folder we have to create a language folder so you can create a different folder for languages like for english folder name en and for hindi it will be in so i am creating this folder for english so here i am creating folder name with en under the en i have to create a file name as app.php So again we need to register this language file to the service provider as we did previously Just copy the code and paste it under the boot function of your service provider file And here is the boot function here we have to put the code Now we have to add this code under our language file our translation file is under the resources folder language language en and abroad php And here it is written add hello world colon colon app dot p dot hello dash world dot name to your application view and it will automatically translate it. We will do it later when we create our blade file. We will continue our video from step number nine. Okay, guys, that's all for today. If you guys are still facing the issue, you can raise a ticket on bagisto.uvdesk.com. Stay connected. Thanks for watching.